All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another undisputed video and another request coming in. This one's coming from I think BF Gaming, and he wants to see Joe Calzaghi against Carl Froch. Now, is it Calzaghi at cruiser, or we can play him at middle? Ninety rating for Joe. There's his stats. I think BF Gaming wants me to play as Calzaghi as well. Making me use the southpaws, you bastards. You bastards, I've got to use another southpaw. Uh, where's Frotch? 86 for Carl. There's a stat. All right, let's go. More southpaw practice. Shall we go... Let's go C7 for this one. Undisputed difficulty, damage modifier, one and a half. Let's go. I'm still working my way through these requests. I've got a shitload to get through. I've already recorded, I think, three tonight. This is the fourth one. Hello, fight fans. I'm and I've got Tom another two more to Welcome do. To the Trying to get on top arena. of them. Next to me, of course, is Johnny Nelson. I feel like a fraud. How have I got these ringside seats? You are a fraud, Johnny. It's no wonder they call him the pride of Wales, Joe Calzaghi, one of the best fighters in UK history. The former super middleweight and light heavyweight champion of the world is the pride of Wales, and no one has been able to beat him. Right, let's try. Cobra Frotch, one of the I've had super middleweight champions some southpaw of practice, but I've been like alternating between southpaw and kingdom. orthodox round by round. So let's no play a full sincere. fight in southpaw. Well, we'll see how we get on. Since since that we're using Joe, who's a higher rated boxer. I'll try and handicap myself a little bit by uh, sticking him in southpaw the entire fight. Rounds of boxing, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the renowned unified world champion with a remarkable undefeated career. Introducing the two division champion of the world and boxing's pride of Wales. Please welcome Joe, the Italian dragon, Calzaghi. Fighting out of the blue corner. Should read his record out for us, Jimmy, this undefeated England, career. A super read it out. champion of the world, Carl the Cobra. Frost. Same for all the boxers. You should be reading out their win and loss, win loss and draw record. What don't know why they didn't include that in the announcement. This is the fight of pride. This is too I don't think they'll do that now. Uh, can you see them getting Jimmy, Jimmy Lennon Jr. back into the studio to record a few, uh, you know, lines of dialogue and say a bunch of numbers out? Running between these two really accomplished fighters, let's see how so they come this out. shouldn't be as unbearable to play in Southport because we're not playing as Usyk, who's slow as shit. Joe's punches punch seem fast, so it's going to be good for me to use him. And these shots, even if they land, are going to do no damage. Already, it feels so much different when <laughs> I was playing as Usyk. Beautiful counter shot. What a punch. And all the time, it just gets me a little bit more just used to throwing punches in Southport. I'll get there eventually. It's gonna take a while. Like. Buzz in the air tonight. So much hype here in this arena. Did you see the nerves on a fighter stepping into the ring top. It can tell you so much about a fighter. And they're looking up as a corner. Oh, combinations from Frotch. Is in heaven. This is where they want to be. Exchanges from both men in this round. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. Oh, oh nice little uppercut there, left uppercut. Look at him trying to fight his oh, nice footwork there from Frost. Just stepped off to his left, just the counter. Defense. Thought we were going to see the finish there. Left counter punch will score. Which fighter will say no moss? 
This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Beautiful counter punch. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Did you hear what my trainer said then? He said he shattered. <laughs> We've had one fucking round. Fucking hell. He shattered, mate. Don't worry about the other 11 rounds. He's gone. He's had f three minutes and he's knackered. What do we expect to see here in round two? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've oh. got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. Spider told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Tactics out of the window. These guys just want to brawl. He just misses with that big right hand. Not a lot of defense here at all. Exchanges from both men in this round. Quick punch scores. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you Ooh. know what? I'm just that stiff jab on the way in there. Just stunned so me. Oh, nice shot to the body there. More than happy. Good job. Nice counter shot. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so Ooh. far. You get in with a slugger, they want to work at their own pace. You speed, frustrate and take them out of their comfort zone. Make them tired, trip over their own feet. Get them angry. Oh, big right straight just walked onto that. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. Oh, oh nice little one-two down the middle there. Oh, powered left straight down the middle. Oh, and another one. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Frost has got a chin on him. He took both of them. Seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? We have got a cut. When you think you come up, just over the right eye there, you can see it. Bell rings and we start the third. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Better start respecting each other's punching power. A lot of people love watching fighters in this weight class because they've got the speed and they've got the power. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour weight is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there, and you're letting the shots go. You've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. You know the amazing fights who are at middleweight are oh, ridiculous. That is what writes our history books. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. He misses with that jab. Nice counter shot. another scoring shot that left score oh, tries to go for the body there the stamina the kind of just disappeared oh, oh nice right hook over the top oh I heard that never by so it oh and a nice down. right lead right up a cut off the one two stepped in with the jab 
straight followed it and there's the lead right up of course Well, the cut doesn't seem to be getting any worse, so that's a good thing. Here we go to the fourth round. We couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out. He's oh, nice little everything. shot there from everything. from Carl. Oh, a little one-two. like they're out of trouble. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through Ooh. anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down. It's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. Good right hand. Good left hand. Oh, big left up over the top from Kyle. Oh, hard left straight to the body. Just 10 seconds to go. See that cut on my eyes starting to waste a little bit. He is down big time on the score. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. On to the fifth we go. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. On her right. no way this fighter can go punch for punch their resistance to these blows just isn't the same work the body frustrate them take the mind off the chin take the mind off protecting everything around that work the body use tactics sometimes it's so hard to actually out I'm gonna watch my stamina tries to go in for the kill there but fucking had no stamina oh, no, oh little right up over the top That one big shot. No, we don't see a knockdown. Oh, back and forth both they go. In the Neither pockets. fighter willing to back down. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Nice oh, that was a nice combination. That right hook and left straight. Himself. Nice job landing that left counter punch. One of them wants this to go to the judges' scorecards. And they get out of the way of that left oh, hand. Oh, nice combination from Frox there. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Left counter scores. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. You can't leave it up to the judges. Bit of swelling coming up on Frotch's left side, but it's probably not going to be all that. 
detrimental at all. Swelling something I barely notice in this game. Let's see what he has barely a, a, a contributing factor to winning or losing fights. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed. Oh, oh no. that was a nice oh, counter combination. Yeah, we have to fucking punch for a thousand years now to get through this fucking block. Oh, there goes the gum shield. Nice left straight to the, uh, sorry, right straight to the body and the left straight over the top. That was a nice knockdown. Fucking, someone caught that gum shield in the front row there by the look of it. Fuck off. Oh, beautiful combination. the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down some fighters when this happens this can be heartbreaking some fighters it makes them angry you want to get back into the mix again i want to know oh combinations from frost there stunned me with that one or staggered me that punch lands Punch. Oh, beautiful shot to the body. Nice left Which uppercut counter. Oh, another nice it. left uppercut like to the head this time. Here, just oh, and a hard left straight down the middle. Had no stamina there. Good job of backed away from that right up over the top. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive and then give it back the next round. Here we go, it's round seven. He got knocked down in the last round, let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle now, he's got a, he's got a bluff there. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a Oh, that was a lovely combination. I thought that was gonna be a knockdown at least. Oh seeing cobwebs. Oh, and a lead right up a cut there, just seeing his block was he had no block left. Throw that right up a cut. As he's backing away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. But now it's about getting back to the corner, freshen up, get new instructions given to you, and they've got to G you up. They've got to tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. Why sit in the pocket when your punches are this slow? Never mind. Never you mind that, Todd. You just. You just focus on pronouncing the fucking arena names properly, hey, mate. You, you just focus on the up. task at hand. Oh, you no, can't even Tom fucking get that right. Looks like he's going to survive the round here. Oh, oh. seeing cobwebs. Went for the kill at the end there, couldn't quite get him. I love the response though, got back up, took a deep breath to the right, 
Push it up. Get up with the jump. And they're back at it again here in round eight. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him. Throw him. Push him down. Don't let him bully him. Leon. Oh, Carl Frotch getting bullied by Leon. Don't let him bully your son. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Does anyone know what, what that's off, by the way? You don't want to say don't let him bully you, Leon. Like, the MMA fans will know what it is. And people must be thinking, what the fuck is he he's saying? When he, what's that referring to? Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to Leon Edwards, Kamaru Usman, too, when, uh, you know, when you have a fight, the Leon was look, a staring down the battle of a decision they loss, and Leon's corner and hyping him up. Stop That's feeling sorry for yourself, boy. Yeah, you gotta go out and get after it, Leon. Don't it, bully Leon. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's gonna be a hard night tonight for the judges. Oh, fucking hell, what's going on with Frotch there? Fucking having a seizure. Shoot with the left counter. Good job. Oh, and a nice left up for Cuff. I thought we were going to see the finish there. Wait a minute. He caught him clean. Looks like oh. out of trouble. Close round with 10 seconds to go. Good counter punching for both these athletes. I've run out of stamina there. It's not just he had no block, so I went in for the kill, but here, gonna need a fucking used all my stamina. When you think you come up, the ring away. Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So and exactly oh, that was a nice upper cut. How much block? Like, like, if you're not throwing power punches, you have to throw a ridiculous but amount of normal shots to just chip away at that block. Shot lands. Wait a minute. A left hand lands. And a counter left. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch. They want to punch. Hold oh, beautiful. Caught him clean. And oh, and a left straight over the top. Down. Oh, kind of fainted me way down there. Went low. Got him to drop his guard. I think the jab to the body. Yeah, that jab to the body just got his hands to drop. And sent that left straight over the top. Carl trying to do some bullshit martial arts X block <laughs> as he went down there. Look, Ugh. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, we managed to get a win purely using Southpaw. The fucking planets have aligned, the fucking seas have parted, I got a win using Southport. Thanks very much, BD Gamer. Or was it BF Gamer? I can't remember. Thanks very much for your request anyway, mate, I really appreciate it. He wants Calzaghi and Frotch. 
If you got any any requests, stick them in the comments. There's a link in the donate uh, in the description if you want to donate. I really appreciate it. Drop a like on the vid, subscribe if you want, and I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.